So the first thing I had to do was cut out a piece of aluminium plate to extend the side of the boat. And it's also incorporated a mudguardy type thing, so I folded it to match the side. Got those two side pieces tacked on. Cut this out. Got to somehow bend that around there now. Okay, got both those sides tacked up now. I've taken the rear diff assembly out, so time to fix that up. So I took the rear diff into work and then started welding off all the pieces that were good and then cut out some of the rust and that and what added a few more braces in. But the jacking part, which uses a trolley jack, was very flimsy at the bottom side. So I had to drill a hole and a piece of plate with this huge drill press at work. I cut a notch out to allow the top suspension mount to travel. After giving it a quick clean up with the linisher, I welded it in place. Then came the real awful job of wire wheeling everything down. It was all covered in rust and dirt from years and years of farm work. This took ages and it was horrible. My mate Joel gave me this paint, so like a two pot paint, or two pack paint, if that's what you call it. So I put the hardener in and threw a bit of thinners in there, mixed it up. So after painting for a while and nearly gassing myself out, I put a mask on and continued painting it and painted the rest of the inside of my shed grey as well. It's all painted now, put it back together. Got these brand new tyres here, they're expensive, but I like the pattern on them, they're sort of like a tractor tyre. Push all the mud to the side. Uh, what are they, Maxis Zillas? So hopefully they push me along good. Came out pretty good, really. So I thought I'd better, while this was out, I'll reroute the exhaust pipe. Only took one cut to change the direction of it, luckily. Just tacked it in place and found the easy as way of Mount the muffler, which is just great. I've already printed this little bracket here for the gear shifter. This clips over the box section and has two mounting screws in the bottom, so I can flick it through the gears easy. Those mudguards sitting on there, I quite like that position. But I needed a strengthening sheet down the back there. Cut those out of a piece of 3mm aluminium plate. And then I had to take them into work to fold them. made a cool bonnet here a bonnet casting deck slash seat that goes up like that and look you can even use this handle as oh, the stay amazing got a new captain's chair here you've got another wood panel on the side so you can't get your le legs tangled up and all the pulleys and all that stuff in there and belts and whatnot I've even got a key amazing there's the brake, I need to extend the pedal out because it doesn't stick through very far. I snapped the end off my uh, gear changer thing, so I'm printing another one at the moment. Just got this one getting printed, it's uh, a bit of plastic too and higher side walls, so it should work better. Got the high security system here. I mean, check out that amazing wiring. I mean, I could have been a sparky, but I don't swing that way. If you're a criminal, don't really watch this because if you yank that out, it'll just go. This whole thing's actually been outside for like a month. 
a couple of months sitting under the trees, all the birds have pooed all over it. Um, also I had printed a new one of these steering thingy. I had these on here that were scraping but this is way better, it's got end stops as well. Demonstration. That's heaps better. This plastic I'm using too is like PLAS or something. Prints a little bit hotter but it's really strong. How'd that go, Mia? Pretty good on the road actually, had a fair bit of speed I guess. Couldn't quite pull the ute and the trailer together because the belt, this belt was slipping. I tightened it up real tight, but um, I think I could maybe I'd buy a thicker one, give me a bit more grip. On land mode, seems like it's pretty good, pretty capable. So it's a real pain having to hop out of the seat every time, lift this up and then pull start it. So what I'm thinking is if I push this around like this, Put a pulley here and then a pulley under there then hopefully while i'm sitting i can reach down and yank the pull start from the sitting position wouldn't that be cool bit of a welding in the rain safety lesson here do not do this yeah all right that little brace is ready the other one's gonna go in here go on this side and the rope's going to come up the other side of it but I need to wait for the pulleys to be printed but they're going to take uh, like 12 hours or something so I'll have to do that next time. The printer finished making this, does a super good finish and it's nice and strong. This is the filament that I used to make it. So those that you haven't seen the other videos, this is the motor I'm going to be using, it's a 25 horsepower old Evinru. I just weighed it, it's 50 kilos. So I can control the motor from back here so the passenger can sit up here to balance the boat out. And then that's what it'll look like in water mode. So the wheels are above the planing area. So hopefully it's fast. Alright, we're getting real close to going on the water. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.